there are many of you you have not gotten direction for ministry yet there are many gray areas around your life and yet you are running for you a prophetic word tonight is you need to slow down because the distance you will need to turn back on it may be too far you are already running speed in the wrong direction is adding burden to yourself there are some of us who never seem to get free from trouble you walk headlong into trouble every scheming of darkness against you walks because there is no discernment when the holy ghost is saying pray you are not even sure he's the one speaking and quite honestly you don't care until you land into trouble i submit to you that in these end times it is costly to be dull of discernment it can cost you your life Hello dear Transform Believer and welcome to Transform Daily YouTube channel. Today on the channel you're going to be learning why discernment is key in these last days. Why it is key for you to understand the timings that we are in right now and how to make and maximize the timing. This video will bless your life and it will cause you to understand God's word more. Open your eyes and reveal to you steps you need to take. May God speak to you via this video. Please do well to like, share and subscribe to the channel. God bless you as you do so. Of the dominion systems in this kingdom and especially as it concerns living in the cosmos is the ability to understand the ways of the spirit to have spiritual intelligence enough to be able to discern times and to discern seasons there are many people whose lives ministries businesses right now have crash landed simply because they did not have the spiritual intelligence to understand and to interpret times hallelujah i have said it many times and it bears repeating again that god is a god of times and seasons please write it down in the dealing of god with man He's fragmented his dealings to work with the law of times and seasons. Times and seasons. Times and seasons. That means everything under heaven functions as a product of time and seasons. We have in Nigeria here what we call the rainy season. We have the dry season, the two main seasons across the globe they have all kinds of seasons autumn spring summer winter you know and and there are many things that happen across those seasons a good farmer takes advantage of the seasons for the productivity of his crops or animals there are seasons that naturally come with certain advantages hallelujah and now the bible says that among the many things that could be said of these sons of Issachar, the men of this tribe is that number one please write it down that they were men who understood the times they had an understanding not as an individual can you imagine as a corporate people that there was a structure within their tribe that helped them to understand times. So the first thing we see about this tribe of Issachar is that there were men who had understanding of times. They knew how to maximize times and seasons because they understood the times. Number two, the Bible says to know what Israel ought to do. So it's one thing to understand the times, but to be able to draw out a strategy that becomes an advantage within that time. That is the second thing that they had. The Bible says to know. They had knowledge. They had strategy to know what Israel ought to do. So they had an understanding of the times. Number two, they knew what Israel ought to do. And the Bible says as a result, there was dominion dominion their brethren had to be at their command for direction give us genesis chapter 1 and verse 14 please this is the creation story and the bible tells us in genesis chapter 1 and verse 14 that god said 
let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night please pay attention and it says let these lights be for signs and let these lights be for seasons and let these lights be for years for days and let these lights be for years you know what this meant let me tell you this i've read this for i don't know how long but the lord opened my eyes and noticed that timing was fragmented into day and night and then signs seasons days years and the bible says for every one of them there is a kind of light that signifies when it is day there is a kind of light that signifies when it is night there is a kind of light that signifies years and special signs even in the heavenlies so the first thing that we see the sons of Issachar having is what I wrote here as discernment that came through understanding please write it down discernment through understanding discernment through understanding the Bible said they understood the times and that that discernment came through understanding most people are unable to maximize seasons please listen in their lives because they are bankrupt of discernment what is discernment the faculty of spiritual perception please write it down that when we say you are somebody who has discernment it means you have trained your organs to be able to perceive the impulses of the spirit faculty of spiritual perception the ability to know what god is doing the ability to know what the devil is doing the ability to know what is happening even within the cosmos is called discernment it is a superior faculty that the believer in partnership with the holy spirit can sustain and the bible lets us know that one of the indices for measuring the maturity of a believer is the strength of your discernment are we still together that strong meat belongs to them who are of full age it says who by reason of use have exercised themselves to discern between good and evil it takes discernment to know what is really good and it takes discernment to know what is really evil because as far as the cosmos is concerned good can look like evil and evil can look like good are we together so this tribe of Issachar trained themselves they stepped up their their discernment their ability to perceive things happening within the heavenlies listen let me tell you the truth there is no believer i know who can excel consistently when you are dull of discernment the world is too spiritual for you to excel bankrupt of discernment respectfully speaking there are people who have died today that they shouldn't have died if they had discernment am i right on that yeah there are many many things that have happened around our lives ministries businesses homes that are credited directly to the absence of discernment the ability to read the writings on the wall the ability to know what the holy spirit is saying per time there are businesses that many of us should not have gotten into if you had discernment now watch this the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly you know that some in the latter time will deviate from the truth and they will give themselves to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons my expression there is the fact that the spirit speaketh expressly the holy ghost is not always talking but the holy ghost speaks but many people have not trained their discernment to recognize the voice of God. You may want to make reference to my teaching, the voice of God. I did a teaching there helping us to understand that when we talk about the voice of God, we don't just mean the speakings of God. We mean every spiritual mechanism that can be used by God to communicate his will and his intents to the believer. It's called the voice of God. 
So the voice of God is not just limited to the sounds of God. It is, it is a holistic capture of every mechanism that can be deployed by God to communicate his intent to the believer. The objective of the voice of God is that the believer comes into the awareness of the will of God. Because the jurisdiction to enjoy God's power, God's favor, God's grace is being at the center of the will of God. In fact, the assignment of God's power is to bring you from wherever you are into the will of God. Are we together? So many believers have not been able to train their discernment. There are many fathers today who the realm of the spirit kept showing them that an attack was coming on their children. And because they did not train themselves spiritually to discern, they could not do anything about it. There are many people who by signs, similitudes, scripture, dreams, God has been showing them several things. Positive things to happen and negative things to avert. But because they have not trained themselves to discern. Let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you that in these end times, it is costly to be dull of discernment. It can cost you your life. Hallelujah. Jesus looks at Nathaniel, a man who just finished insulting him. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And he looks at Nathaniel and here's what he says. An Israelite indeed in whom there is no guile. It takes discernment to speak like that. Jesus looks at the man called Peter. And even though he saw a spirit behind Peter, he said, get thee behind me, Satan. And he said, Peter, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. In other words, there is nothing wrong with you as a person. Your compassion and your good heart is an advantage for the kingdom. But I need to separate you from this ugly spirit that is trying to destroy you. Discernment. In the book of Acts, the Bible talks about the apostles. Paul, are we together now? Yes. How that a damsel came and met them and this damsel was using divination and bringing money and gains for her people. And when she saw them, she began to preach that these are the men of God who have brought glad tidings. You find that in Acts chapter 16. The first 24 verses talk about the, the Bible says this happened for many days. And one time, he got angry, angry in his spirit. Are we together now? And he looked at her, Paul now, being grieved in his spirit. He commanded that spirit to come out of her. That's how they landed in the prison that they used praise and worship to come out of. This was what got them there. Hallelujah. Many people are dull of discernment. There are some of us who never seem to get free from trouble. You walk headlong into trouble. Every scheming of darkness against you walks because there is no discernment. When the Holy Ghost is saying pray, you are not even sure he's the one speaking. And quite honestly, you don't care until you land into trouble. There are many people about to start journeys that the Holy Spirit keeps pointing to them. It does not have to be a journey that ends you in danger. We are talking with respect to the will of God, not good or bad. There are many things that you will arrive well and yet you are already dead. Once it is not the will of God, you are still in trouble. So you, we don't rate life based on good or bad. We rate life based on the will of God or outside of the will of God. There are many, if the devil wants to destroy you, he will schedule many good things to happen in your life that are outside the will of God. Are we together? For instance, giving you a visa, when is the will of God for you to be in Nigeria? Now, that may not be an evil thing, sociologically speaking. But you will travel not only out of the will of God, out of your destiny, out of so many things. Why didn't God stop Jonah from entering the boat? When Jonah was paying for the boat, I can imagine that every passenger that was entering that boat, they, I'm sure the angels were saying, oh God, so all your business, Oga, is for nothing. You're about to lose your property because one person got a boat. 
and was on his way going. And then when the people were throwing everything, he kept quiet and was sleeping. It was when they casted lots and it fell on him. He said, truly, okay, let me talk now. I am a prophet. God sent me to Nineveh, but I know God. He's a merciful God. If I talk to them, they will repent. I don't want them to hear the message so that you will help me and punish them. So what do we do with you now? Throw me out. You thought the people would say, ah, that's too much. They threw him out. They had lost their property and everything. Are we together? Thank God you're a prophet. It threw him out. Listen. God has helped us to come thus far today by this faculty of discernment. I look back at my life and I can see where glory and shame was separated by the distance of a needle only waiting for discernment that if you are taken one wrong step your life would have crash landed for nothing hear me god is speaking to someone in this end time right now the believer must train yourself and i'm going to teach you how you must train yourself to step up your discernment you can have five people come even if it is judas not every kiss is a sign of love a kiss that is supposed to be a sign of love and intimacy can be a strategy to the enemy the one i'm kissing is the one that must die when he came and kissed jesus jesus looked at him and said you betray your master with a kiss he didn't say sorry he didn't say anything he just left him there for some of you who put your cheek for everybody you need to um, you understand it's a figurative statement some of us are so fragile emotionally that even when the devil brings his mouth near you you just believe that every sign of a kiss means love no sir no sir no sir every handshake is not a handshake of fellowship there are handshakes that are that they are signals of deception Every prophecy is not prophecy that edifies you. No matter how it sounds, it is the ministry of the Spirit behind it. It is not everything that glitters that is gold. Are we together now? Say discernment. Please shout it. Say discernment. There are many children today whose destinies would not have been wasted, respectfully speaking, if their parents had discernment. Remember what happened when Samson was about to be born. Manoah asked a question and they said, no, 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 please, let the angel return and give us details as to this child. We know that since this child came by prophecy, he would not be an ordinary child and instructions came that he would be a Nazarene and his hair would not be cut. And that became the symbol of his strength until he decided to kill himself by himself. Are we together now? Listen to me. Every mantle and every destiny has the, the spiritual code of operation that protects that oil. Listen, let me share with you a, a powerful secret. There is a consecration for every mantle. It's not enough to know you have a mantle. You must know the formula given by God to protect it. There are certain graces that is in the place of worship that that anointing is released. You can be anointed and you do not know by discernment what activates the working of the spirit within you. And you will find out your life will look like you are not called. Are we together? There are people because of the kind of destiny you have. For you, the formula God gives you is every time you want to see a miracle, hold hands with your husband or your wife and agree. That is it. No matter what deception, once two of you hold your hands and pray, the truth must come out. It may not be a formula for everybody, but by discernment, you can step into what becomes your secret code of operation. Unbelievers know this, but many, many believers are bankrupt. When it was time for the prophet to prophesy, he did not feel like prophesying. He said, bring me a mistral. And as soon as they began to pray a mistral, the Bible said the hand of the Lord. He didn't say the hand of the Lord was coming anyway. He understood the secrets that provoked the hand of the Lord. Are we together? Those who lack discernment in this end time, ladies and gentlemen, 
whether as men of God, whether as business people, one operation of the spirit of discernment can be the difference between victory or defeat in the life of a believer. Some of you are about to get into businesses right now that will make you cry from March till December. You've not had discernment. You don't care. Some of you are about to drive good people in your life because you do not have discernment to see. Everybody who comes to me must be a millionaire and someone will come looking like, like someone who just came out of prison. Whereas that's the person the anointing is on to help you. But because you lack discernment, some of you have driven everybody holding the key to your door. Now you are wondering why the door does not open. Because if you see John the Baptist, he does not look like a prophet. He will come with rags and sometimes wear eating locusts and wild honey. Who wants to be a friend to such a man? However, that's the man God has chosen. Are we together? I remember when God started speaking about coming to Abuja, I've shared with you that story to help you. It took three years of wrestle, wrestle. Before that time, I could be having a program somewhere. I would travel into Zaria, arrive around 5.36, go and have a meeting, and then by the next day, I'm out of the way again. But when it began to come, I said, Ah, God, what is this one again? I struggled with the Spirit verifying and re-verifying and re-verifying. When God finally gave me the verification, I went with my eyes closed. Listen, let me tell you the truth. For some of you, God is speaking to you right now. You are taking too many careless destiny steps and ignoring discernment. The mercy of God has been shielding you, but I don't know who I'm speaking to. You need to mark time. Speed is not the same as rushing. Listen, do you know that speed is a function of clarity of direction or clarity of destination? If you are looking for a house, say you enter a close or an avenue, once you don't know the house, you slow down. Is that true? Be so that you don't pass it not knowing. And then you honestly ask questions. You can now ask someone, sorry, where is the birthday celebration happening? Oh, turn left, right. You see that blue car? That's the house. The moment the direction is clear, there's no limitation to speed again. There are many of you, you have not gotten direction for ministry yet. There are many gray areas around your life and yet you are running. For you, a prophetic word tonight is you need to slow down because the distance you will need to turn back on, it may be too far. You are already running, speed in the wrong direction is adding burden to yourself. Is someone getting what I'm saying now? Discernment. Who told you it's God's will for you to be in UK? Who told you it's God's will for you to be in Abuja? I've told you, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Greener pasture is not a physical location. Greener pasture is where the voice of God is for you. There are people suffering in every nation, including our dear nation. It is not a physical location that, this, that, 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 um, that, that spells out your prosperity, but where the voice of the Lord is. He said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And Isaac sowed in that land. Hallelujah. Our fathers of old, some of them were not very educated, but they would never do anything until they verify. The subject of God said was strong in their generation. God has not spoken to me, oh, thank you for what you have said, but let me inquire of the Lord. It is the reason why they had, they had tremendous success with their lives. Our generation now respectfully is so scientific. We say wisdom is profitable to direct and our wisdom is Sophia, not divine wisdom. It has been landing us in all kinds of trouble. God is speaking to someone. You want to follow the order of that tribe of Issachar. You must slow down in your life and be sure of the voice of God before you take steps in your life and destiny. Is someone listening to what I'm saying? Man of God, don't assume it is time to start church. What makes you think you should start church? All my contemporaries, even sons that I raised in ministry, they are in ministry. So what? Anna the prophetess, how many people do you think she raised? And yet she remained in the temple. Ah, 
may you never go where God is not. Oh, I'm praying for you. May you never go where God is not. Hallelujah. Moses said, do not let us depart from here. If your presence will not go with us. You see, let me tell you, life will propose so many wonderful things. They don't have to be evil, I repeat. The journey of discernment is not about good and bad alone. Please hear me. Let me repeat it again. The journey of discernment is not about good or bad alone. It's about being in the will of God. Lack of discernment will lead you to many good things that will end up becoming a burden to your destiny because they are not luggages that were allocated for you to carry. Your flight will be impeded because you have carried all kinds of things. Hallelujah. I believe in common sense. I'm not a fool. But I believe in the voice of God. I'm also not a fool. Are we together? Common sense has landed people in trouble. The oldest man on earth today is not more than 120 years. I'm, I'm not sure. The highest I saw was 141 along the road to Ekiti who just died. But I don't know Guinness Book of Record or what, what's that, that thing. I don't know who they have as the world oldest person. But let me tell you the truth. This scripture is old and the spirit of God is, he was there when creation began. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, lean not on your own understanding. Verse 6 says, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. 7 says, be not wise in your own understanding. It says, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. For there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, the Bible declares. It says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. There are many people who have no business being poor today. Their problem was not intellectual bankruptcy. Their problem was that they do not sustain the ability to discern. In the days of Noah, whether you were a businessman, whether you were an architect, whether you were a politician, after 120 days, you were going to die if you were not in the boat. You were not in the ark. It's as simple as that. There are times and moments in history, ladies and gentlemen, where it is not about the wisdom of the wise. It is about the ability to discern the voice and the will of God. My prayer for myself and my prayer for this ministry all the time is that I find myself at the epicenter of the will of God. Now, let me tell you the truth. There is a risk if you embrace the way of discernment. There will be a lot of disruption to what you call order in your life. If you are not willing to endure that disruption, then forget about a glorious life. Hmm. Are we together? Do you know what would have happened to Joseph? We never heard of Joseph and the exploits of his carpentry again. That man just received the burden of fathering Jesus to maturity and had to sacrifice a lot. But he knew that he was in the will of God. What of Mary? I'm sure as a young virgin, the girl just had a plan towards her life and destiny. Listen, I, I pray for our generation. May we not be too organized to the point that God cannot bring us now to fit the mold of his will for us. Let's be careful with this over-dependence on intellect. I submit to you that when God started with us, this was not, let me tell you the truth. The way of the spiritual man is very, very strange. There are many times in the journey you don't even know where you are going to. You have to depend on the one leading you, not an assurance of where you are going. You trust the person more than the destination. Follow me is the mission. We live in a world today that is full of guarantees. Can you guarantee me that if something happens? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Are we learning? The men of Issachar had understanding of the times. You must know how to discern. You must know how to discern. You must know how to discern. Lord, this business idea looks wonderful and my brain seems to agree with it. But can you give me a moment? Let me go to God in the place of prayer 
and hear what he has to say. God will only take responsibility for what he initiated. If you initiate it, it means you are vetted that you have the power to manage the outcomes that come there. Hallelujah. That is why we lack power in the body of Christ. It is not about physical strength. It is about discernment. More love. More power. More of you in my life. Hello dear Transform Believer, this is a powerful message. Wow, I was so blessed by it. I know you were blessed by that message too. Welcome to the commentary section. My name is Kola Dave Godman and I'm here to recap, reiterate and also inspire you based on what I was blessed with and based on my own life experiences and other people's life experiences as regards the topic we just listened to especially based on the word of god now this topic of discernment is something that every believer needs to really hold on to very tight because in your journey to fulfillment of destiny if you are not discerning enough if you don't have the gift of discernment if you don't train yourself because all of us as believers we are born with senses right to hear god because the bible says that my sheep hear my voice and they know me and they follow me right but but as a child you need to train yourself you need to be with hearing your parents constantly right that's it with hearing your parents constantly you get accustomed to the voice of your parents you get accustomed to how they talk how they you know give instructions and you know god speaks to us diverse ways and i like what god servant said in this message that it's not about ending up making the bad decision whenever you don't discern it's about being in the will of god and to say the truth the devil doesn't care if you made a good or bad decision but he cares if you're in the will of god or not because he knows that the jurisdiction of god's protection god's hand god's um a magna a magnanimity god's power god's supernatural uh, provisions god's supernatural breakthrough and, uh, and strength is within his 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 will god does everything to protect his will god answers to everything in his will you can be praying a prayer that is of the will of god and the devil will, will not mind he is he's okay as long as you continue praying rubbish do you understand me so we need to discern like he said a lot of people have gotten into bad relationships especially marriages you know businesses because of this thing parents parents i i am a parent too and i know how this has been something i always pray about that god let me not make the wrong decisions for my children let me not be in the wrong country when my children should be in another country let me not plant my children in the wrong foot let me not make wrong decisions because you need to make this prayer so i want you to make a project of every topic that is shared that you listen to on this channel because it can help you boost your your spiritual um uh, sharpness it can help you boost your spiritual life so discernment is key discernment is key for the life of a believer and i believe that we are hearing this message for this season because it is timely god wants you to know what he wants you to do part time you know it is very important that anytime a business idea is brought to us we go back and check with the holy spirit no matter how juicy it sounds no matter because <laughs> you know the, this common sense of a thing like he said has led people into the wrong ditches and i pray that god gives us the grace um, I pray that God directs us, that God helps us because we on our own, we can't lead ourselves. That is one thing about the children of Ithaca, the tribe of Issachar. No, they had the understanding of times and seasons and thereby gave them dominion. A man may not have anything, but a man that hears God is a terrible man. A man that knows where God wants him to go to, knows the business God wants him to do, goes back to God with a decision, goes back to God with, you know, a suggestion that was made. Ah you know and and we are quick to share our ideas with people before we even share it with god let that be something we take home from this message before you jump in ask god before you jump in ask god before you start ask god don't be carried away by people your destiny is unique to you i know this message has blessed your life uh look forward to the part two on this channel of course i always share the complete parts of these messages God bless you. Please do well to like this video, share and subscribe to, to our channel and we'll see you when I will post our next video. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm glad to have you on the channel. See you in our next video. Bye and God bless.